guys, it's Sugar Diamond here, and today I'm doing another Cooking with Misty. Now, it has been quite a while since I've done one of these, but I really wanted to do another, and sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird, I am sick. But anyways, so, um, yeah, today we are going to be making some delicious gummies, and I am not only here by myself, but I am here with a special guest. Please welcome my cousin Morgan. Hi. Sadly, her sister Haley cannot be here with us today, but, um, yeah. Anyway, so today, as I said, we will be making some delicious gummies. This is a simple, easy recipe, and um, all, the link is in the description down below, as well as a link to her and her sister's channel. They sort of share a channel, so yeah. And I also make videos on their channel with them when we're together, and we have a blast, so definitely make sure to check that out. But the things you will need to make these delicious, simple, easy gummies are... 3 ounces of flavored gelatin, such as Jello. You will also need 2 1 fourth ounce packages of unflavored gelatin. So 2 packets and each is equal to 1 fourth ounce. You will also need a third cup of water. You will also need... The spoon. You will also need a pot. You will also need some molds. And it doesn't matter what it is. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is in our pot, we added our one third cup of water already in it, as you can see. And so I'm gonna have Morgan, why don't you have the honors of putting in the unflavored gelatin. And then I'll add the jello also. Now you're gonna wanna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. Ooh, this smells so good. <laughs> now it's about time where we wanna take our saucepan over to medium heat on the stove and we wanna stir until all the gelatin is dissolved, which will be, usually take around two to five minutes. It's time to stir. And once all of the chunks and all of it has um, turned into liquid, you're ready to remove it to the, of the stove. Time to put it in the mold! Let it cool for a while before you remove it from the stove. You can either have it sit out at room temperature for about 20 minutes or if you want to speed the process up, you can put it in the fridge to help it cool down faster. Now did I take them out? And voila, you're finished. It's as simple as that. If you want, you can even add little dollops of whipped cream to the top to garnish it. Ours turned out as a leaf, but it sort of also looks like a teardrop. In the past, I've made gummy hearts as well as gummy bears. Super simple and easy. Are you ready to taste it, Morgan? Mmm, tasty! <laughs> Let me try some. Mmm, Haley would love this. Well, there you go, everybody. How to make an easy DIY gummy. That was simple and easy! Well, thanks, well, well, thanks Morgan for coming. I really enjoyed having you on the show. Thanks for having me! That's all folks. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys want to see any more of these videos, comment down below. Um, and yeah. So, well, that's all. Bye! Bye. If you want, you can even add little dollops of whipped cream to garnet.